You want to get a mini map in Minecraft 1.21.4, and in this video, we're going to show you how to do that using Xero's mini map. This is one of the most popular Minecraft mini map mods, and like I said, this video is going to cover everything you need to know to get it. First things first, go to the second link in the description down below. That will take you here. This is our in depth text guide on getting Xero's mini map. It goes over the basics, but we're also going to be going over everything in this video. Once you're here, go ahead and click download Xero's mini map to go to the official download page. Here, you'll be able to see a bunch of information about Xero's mini map, including things like all the different features and how to open different maps and things like that and control stuff it's really really good and uh, kind of crazy all this mod has in it so once you're here go ahead and scroll up and click on files and this is where you'll be able to see all of the different files for Xero's mini map for this video we're going to be installing the fabric version the easiest way that I find to find these is simply by sorting by mod loader here for fabric and then for the version 1.21.4 right here it is the 1.21.4 fabric version of Xero's mini map click the three dots on the right hand side click download file and after a few seconds the download will begin while this is downloading though how to mess from our company simple game hosting go to the first link in the description down below the break .xyz/sgh to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. You can easily add mods like Xero's Minimap or any Minecraft mods that you want to your server and even one-click install hundreds of mod packs. Plus, there's expert live chat support there to help you out along the way, so stop struggling to host a Minecraft server and start your Minecraft server the simple way at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz/sgh. Nevertheless, you may need to keep or save Xero's Minimap like we do here. 100% safe to do that. We also need to download Fabric. Fabric is the model Loader that's going to allow Xero's minimap to actually work once we're in Minecraft. You can find this, of course, linked in the description down below, and that'll take you to our in-depth tutorial on getting fabric. This goes really in-depth covering how to fix potential issues along the way and all of that, but we're going to be going over the basics in this video as well. Go ahead and click download fabric, and it will take you to fabric's official download page, where you want to click on this download universal jar link. The reason we're downloading the universal jar is because that'll allow you to install things easier later on when it comes to other Minecraft mods, servers, things like that. So we want to go ahead and save this here. And then we can last but not least download to the Fabric API. This is an API mod that is required for mods like Xero's Minimap to work. So basically this talks to Fabric and Xero's Minimap makes things work and kind of gives Xero's Minimap a bit more code to use with Fabric. So once we're here, go ahead and click on the Download Fabric API. To go to Fabric API's official download page on CurseForge, where again, click on Files, and then sort for the 1.21.4 version. We want to go with this most recent version here, so go ahead and click the three dots and click Download File, and after a few seconds, the download will begin, again needing to keep or save it, depending on your browser, right like so. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and we want to move everything to the desktop. Now for me, it's going to be in the Downloads folder, so we can go here to the Downloads folder and drag and drop all of this stuff from here here to our desktop right like so. We have Fabric, we have the Fabric API, and of course we have Xero's Minimap, which is why we're all here. Let's go ahead and start off by installing Fabric itself though with the Fabric installer. Right click on it, click on Open With, click Java, and it should open. If it doesn't open, it's because you don't have Java 21, or if you didn't have Java at all, like you right click, click on Open With, and Java's not here. Well, what do you do in those cases? If it doesn't open, or if you don't have Java at all? Well, in that case, you need to get Java, specifically Java 21. It's required for Minecraft 1.21 plus mods, and this guide here shows you how to get it from Minecraft, specifically going over everything you need to know in video and text format. We've also got the jar fix. First, download and install Java, then run the jar fix. That's going to take all the jar files like your Minecraft mods and link them back to Java, making them work together. At this point, though, we can go ahead and minimize our browser and we can right click on the Fabric installer, click on Open With, click Java, and it will open the Fabric installer. At this point, make sure Minecraft and the Minecraft launcher are closed. Select 1.21.4. Confirm to create profile is checked and click install. The reason this wouldn't work from here is if you never played Minecraft 1.21.4 before. If that's the case, just go open up Minecraft, the main menu in Minecraft 1.21.4, close out of it, and you're good to go. Now we can go ahead and click OK and close out of the Fabric installer. You can also delete the Fabric installer from your desktop. We don't need that anymore. Now let's go ahead and get Fabric API and most importantly, Xero's Minimap installed. To do that, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, we should have installations up at the top. When you click on installations at the top, make sure modded is checked. As you can see, modded's not checked, fabric's not here. If you check modded, there it is, fabric loader 1.21.4. Do not play Minecraft yet, but what if you don't have this 1.21.4 fabric loader installation? Well, go ahead and click new installation. You can name it anything you want. I'm going to name it fabric 1.21.4. And then we can select the versions drop down box here and select fabric loader 1.21.4 right here. Now I'm going to set the resolution. I'm just doing that so you can see better once we get in game. And then go ahead and click install. Make 
make sure you don't launch after install. You just want to click install on the bottom right here. And then when you do that, boom, there we go. We have Fabric 1.21.4 ready to go. It's downloading, installing, all of that stuff. While it's doing that, how do we get our mini map installed? Well, in order to get our mini map, what we want to do is hover over the Fabric installation of the one that you created or the one that's there by default and click the little folder icon. That'll open up your Minecraft folder where you should have a mods folder. But if you don't have a mods folder, no worries. Just right click, create a new folder and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then open your newly created mods folder. Then drag and drop Xero's minimap and the Fabric API into your mods folder, right like so, and they're now installed. Now you can play Minecraft either using the Fabric installation you created or the Fabric loader installation that was there by default. Just go ahead, hover over it, click play, click play again to confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and now you have Xero's minimap installed for Minecraft 1.21.4. In game, there's no way to tell from the main menu, but if we go into a server, such as our simple game hosting server here, or if we were to go into a single player world or anything like that, the minimap will be working. We can see it in the top left up there. It will load, take a second to load in. That's normal. And as soon as it does, it looks really, really good. You can go ahead and do things like press Z to zoom it in and kind of like move it out, right, for example. And you can open up minimap settings with Y. When you do that, it'll allow you to turn it on and off and customize and change the position. For example, I don't like it in the top left. I actually like it in the top right. So I can move it up to there, confirm that, change the entity settings. So much stuff is customizable on Xero's minimap, but at this point, you know how to get it and um, how to download and install Xero's minimap for Minecraft 1.21.4. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Enjoy your new Minecraft minimap, and we will see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.